Hi, Andrew here. Today we're going to do another 9mm test. We're going to test 147 grain gold dot, but we're going to switch it up a little bit. We're going to shoot it out of a 7.72 inch CZ Scorpion. Uh, mainly because I want to see how performance changes when you take a load that was designed for a service pistol length barrel and fire it from a barrel almost twice as long, presumably increasing the velocity. One, is it still subsonic? 147 grain usually is out of a service pistol length barrel, but will it still be subsonic out of an eight, almost eight inch barrel? And two, how is terminal performance affected? Let's get out to the range and shoot it out of my friend's CC Scorpion into clear ballistics, clear gel. All right, unsurprisingly, we see some pretty good performance here. Penetration is 17, 17 and a quarter, and also 17 and a quarter. Although this one looks like it bounced back a bit. I didn't notice, I, I didn't get this one on the high speed, so I'm not sure, but the end of that track actually went to 20 and a quarter so we should probably take that as the end of the penetration in both cases it looks like they expanded well let's get these out of here and see what they look like i think that might have smacked into the other bullet so we may have to we may have to take another shot for for penetration. This one looks just about perfect. This one has a little dent in it that matches the base. <laughs> yeah, actually, if we bring this around here, we can yeah, that's that's where they fit together. <laughs> This one struck this one. So we'll take another shot or two to measure penetration. All right, guys, you probably can't see too well from your angle because those two shots I placed a little bit further into the block behind these tracks. But one bullet stopped right here at the transition. Nope, both of them did. So the penetration is still about the same at uh, four and three eighths. And 17 inches exactly. So yeah, we'll say, we'll call that other one an anomaly, the one that <laughs> got banged into by the first. Here's your bullets. This time around, we're seeing real, real uniform expansion, fairly typical for gold dot. And there you go. Nice close up so you can see what the bullets look like. Okie doke, no surprises here. Looks like they expanded just fine, but got a little bit deeper penetration because that denim often causes them to go a little deeper. So what do we got here? 20 and a half and 19 and 3 eighths. Let's get these bullets out of the block and take a look. That one was 
right there on the surface. And I gotta work a little harder for this one. But one nice thing about gold dots, from my perspective, is that I don't cut the shit out of my fingers digging them out of the block. Now, some folks would say that the sharp edges on an HST or a solid copper hollow point improve wounding because they cut more. I think that the experts are, the jury is still out with the experts when in, in regard to that and that there is some debate among them. This is definitely a go at this station. All right, so what did we find out? Well, first of all, not quite subsonic. Um, again, this is designed for a service pistol length barrel, so it should be no surprise that it's a little bit over the speed of sound out of a barrel almost twice as long. And the penetration was pretty deep. Now, 147 grain is heavy for caliber, and heavy for caliber bullets have a high sectional density, and high sectional density usually results in deep penetration. This is no different. Pushing it a little faster didn't improve performance in any way. Now, oftentimes with jacketed hollow point pistol ammunition, we actually see less penetration with more velocity because that causes greater expansion, more drag, and it slows down more quickly, penetrating less. Not the case this time around. However, it did have perfect weight retention and good expansion. That means it's adequate for defense, even if it's not ideal. Of course, yes, it did exceed that 18 inch maximum. But as you guys know, I personally believe that the whole over penetration thing is largely overblown and not nearly as much of a worry as most people make it out to be. And of course, this load is intended for shorter barrels. Uh, it should still be subsonic out of a, say, four and a half inch barrel. If you want to see me test the same load out of a pistol length, service pistol length barrel, leave a comment below. If you have any questions or if you think I got something wrong, tell me. I always love to hear what you have to say about these things. And if you want to rent a phantom high-speed camera just like the one that I used for this video, get in touch with Aimed Research. Their contact information is in the description down below. Have a great day.